Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good. I wanted to give you something that happened to me yesterday. Um, now, I've just had so many attacks to do this video. I'm like, I can't even believe it. I didn't even want to do the video because it's so last minute, it's late at night, it's about tomorrow and the next day, meaning October 9 and 10. And yet I can't seem to get it off my mind or I just feel like I have to do the video, even though I just feel like I, I don't want to, but I have to. So uh, I'm believing that's the Lord and uh, a tiny back drop here that you need to know. Part of this relates to a lot of the information I had uh, been given by the Lord in prayer and fasting back in 94, quite a while back. All of it relates to the rapture. I didn't know what the rapture was at the time. So basically, um, what happened is one of the images that I saw back then was a big picture of a clock, like a watch. And it was 10 after two, uh, or 10 after two, or 10 to, uh 10 to 10 i think that's what it is it, it's the one like this i'll show you in a minute all right so didn't exactly know what it meant i just knew it was related to all these images i got of the rapture okay so basically yesterday i had gotten a comment on my video about if i knew that there was a double moon coming up and i asked sister what is it and she didn't she couldn't figure out she couldn't find it so i don't i didn't even know what it was so i was talking to another sister on the phone and we were talking about the double moon and i was in the other room just getting ready to you know wash my face kind of and she said something about the double moon i'm like Okay, I got to go back in the other room. I got to, I, I, I need to focus on what, what is this? Why are you talking about this? Okay. So what she said, she looked it up. She said it was when the moon is at illumination at a hundred percent, two nights in a row. Now you need to know Part of what's amazing about this is that there have been many, many, many people on YouTube. One sister even changed her channel name to Holly Two Moons because she had so many dreams of two moons along with so many other people on YouTube. In fact, one brother even did this amazing analysis of, of all what, what it might mean and just spent, must have been like, seemed like months and years working on this project and yet what he thought it was came and went, which can be very frustrating. It happens to all of us. I mean, we're still watching. We've seen so many things. And that's why part of me is like, I don't even want to give, you know, tell this because it might just pass. But it, it was so powerful. So we, so we were talking about, on the phone, we were talking about October 9th and 10th. And so, so then she says double moon. So I turn around, go into the other room. The first thing I see is the clock and it says nine, 10. I'm sorry. It said 10, nine. And that's like October 10. Okay. And then there's a nine and 10, which we're talking about. Now tomorrow's the ninth. Right now is the eighth. I don't know when this will load, some of you won't see this until the ninth, but so then I look it up. I'm trying to look at, I look for what is a double moon. I'm not finding what she found about it being when the moon is at hundred percent, two nights in a row. But if you look at it, it looks like two moons because they're two full moons. And then I thought, well, is this unusual? And it's like, no, it's not. Um, there's, I don't know if there's always, but there's often 
two moons at 100% elimination, okay? So I thought, okay, well, it's going to be on the 9th and 10th of October, just like my clock said, 10, 9. And I thought, okay, here's the 10, 9 and 10 coming up again. So I look up. Oh, wow. I don't know. I hope this, this editing just suddenly, it seems to go past five sometimes lately. I can't figure it out. I'll just keep talking. I hope to God this doesn't end up not loading and editing, but, um, to make a long story short. So then I look, I look up the double moon and I'm looking at the illumination and noticing that it's on the ninth and the 10th. And we had just been talking about on the phone, how the Lord could come in between the two feasts because I'm not convinced he's going to come in one of this, the seven feasts of the Lord, because those are for the Jews and he could, the rapture could be totally different, could be more connected to the, you know, like he said, come an hour you don't expect or the days of Noah, because that was one of the clues in Matthew 24. It'll be as the days of Noah. All right. He said one was in the field, the other one was taken, one was left. Um, anyway, so I, so I click on double moon and it takes me to these watches that all have two moons on them. And it's exactly the time of, of in, on the watch of the vision that I had back in 94. And they all have two moons on them. And I suddenly thought, wow, you know, it is possible that the Lord was saying with the two moons to all, with all the dreamers who couldn't figure it out. Sometimes the Lord just is saying something much simpler than we realize. And it could be that he's just pointing to that he's coming out of full moon because it's the full moon when there's the double moon, which is two nights in a row, hundred percent illumination. And then the clock, the picture of the 10 to two, uh, or 10 to 10, the, the clock or 10 after, I'm sorry. I, why do I, oh my gosh, I wish I could not confuse those. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> Okay, it could be that the Lord is actually pointing to the new, the, the full moon, that that is the appointed time when he's coming. And the word Keshe from Psalm, I think it's 82, I'll put it up, is translated at the appointed time and it's translated at the full moon. And on top of everything the Lord showed me, it is possible based on the synchronicity of everything I saw last night, as we were talking about the rapture being on October 9th or 10th, um, that then all this stuff came to me in, in one half hour, all, all of it. So I'm gonna show you a few clips from what I saw and um, and I'm praying that this all edits and loads correctly. Um, the way it happened was so startling and stunning to my spirit that it just, I, I was just sure. I, I just felt, I'm sure he's coming. I'm sure he's coming. So, but I can't say that. I can't tell you that I'm sure. I just felt like I'm sure, but I can tell you how I feel. I just can't say this as a Lord about it, but I'm going to be watching the 9th and 10th, the full moon. The full moon is when he could come in tabernacles. It's supposed to start at the full moon, but apparently it's not in Israel because again, they're off. 
but that's okay. Just the way it is. So let me show you a couple of things here. Okay, so here we have the full moons for October. And here we have on the 9th of October, 100% full moon, 100% full moon. After that, it's 97. And before that, it's 94. And this is October. Okay, so we have that and... The full moon is going to be um, full at 4.54 p.m. East Coast time. So I looked that up, and in Strong's it means folly or foolish. It reminded me of the, you know, the five foolish virgins. And then, very interesting in Hebrew, 4.54, unto our mine eyes. And I thought, wow, you know, that just makes me feel like, you know, that we're going to see him face to face and look in his eyes, you know, just interesting time. And the other thing it also said was that it's going to be, uh, turn into full moon right around the time of sunset. So it said it's going to be particularly beautiful. Um, Okay, now let's see. Then I want to show you what I saw when I looked up double moon. So I go into double moon, just random, and this comes up. The very thing, 10 after 10. Oh, this was the other thing. My gosh, I forgot. This was the other thing. It's not even 10 after 10. It's 9 after 10 on all three of them. It's 9 after 10. It's 9, 10, which is what I saw on the clock when I walked into the other room. And I'm sorry whether it was 10, 9 or 9. I think it was 9, 10. It, so, so here we have 9, 10 again. And then on the 9th and the 10th, it's going to be a full moon, a full illumination. So all of these things together is what, you know, happened to me last night. And so, you know, I think you could see why this really just stunned me. And anyway, so then there was also that sister, that girl who had a dream that there would be some disaster on October 10th. Now, I don't know how big, where, nothing, but if the rapture, if the Lord is pointing to this time, October 9th and 10th, if it was a huge, big, like, disaster that affects a lot of the world, he could get us right before that, which would be the 9th and or the 10th, you know? So this is what I wanted to show you. And um, just God bless you all. You know, th this has... <laughs> I mean, when I started this video, out of the blue, a lamp fell and a box of tons of stuff just came, just, just freaking hit the floor and all this stuff went all over the rug. This is when I started making the video. So on top of a lot of other, just one thing after another, it's been crazy. I'm telling you that just to say there's warfare around this. This could be what God meant by the two moons. It could just mean I'm coming at a full moon, whether it's this particular month or not, but it sure does fit into a lot of what we're seeing and what we've been talking about lately.
in the on the world stage and the seven years of tribulation about to start so if you haven't come to christ i would do it now you got to believe that he's who he said he is and he is the son of god god sent his only begotten son that whomsoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life eternally like this watch that never stops ticking eternal life a gift from god if you believe the gospel that jesus christ died on the cross was buried and rose on the third day from the dead to conquer death hell and the grave and destroy the works of the devil against humanity so that we could be cleansed by the blood of jesus christ and have our sins washed away by his blood alone and his finished work on the cross that is what makes us worthy of being with the father and going to heaven his blood not what you do not what you don't do you can't do it you can't keep it yourself saved either because you can't keep what you didn't get god is the only one who can give it to you it is a gift of god from him for you're saved by grace through faith not of yourself it's a gift of god lest any man should boast you will not be able to boast about how you got there except for his blood the blood of yeshua hamashiach praise the name of jesus christ glory to the lamb of god who is coming and coming soon i love you all take care hope to see you in the air sooner than we think